Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, I just wanted to do this video to talk about how I got to 6,000 subscribers. You may say 6,000 is really not that many, Rich. Agreed, I was not a YouTuber. I actually started uploading videos on YouTube when the platform first came available to people, but I didn't take it serious. Uh, I have a family, I have a regular job, and I have a lot going on. I play gigs, I teach guitar, I have a recording studio. And I never really took it serious. Plus, there's a lot of those insecurities. A lot of you guys that may be thinking about starting a guitar YouTube channel or any kind of YouTube channel may have that fear of talking in front of the uh, camera. Uh, and that fear is real. If you watch some of my early videos, I am just a mess with anxiety. I still am. I don't like talking to the camera. I know that I'm talking to you guys and anyone that watches it, but it just feels weird. Um, but anyway, the way that I did, the way that I got 6,000 subscribers, and by the way, I want to thank you guys for 6,000. That's, I mean, for me, where I'm just releasing like one or two videos a week, and they're just kind of on a whim, um, that's a, my, a big milestone for me. Would I like to have 50,000 subscribers or 100,000? Of course I would. Uh, it would be great. But um, the way that I've gone about it is just trying to release consistently one to one a week. The guitar, music... YouTube channel is complete, incredibly saturated, and unless you're a freak and have a crazy personality, I don't think, I think it's hard to grow a channel now. Uh, there are just so many people doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be at 6,000, which is nice. It's, it's a comfortable place. I'm still making a little bit of money, but I'm not like, I'm not obsessed with it. It's not like my main income. It's just something on the side that I do. I really enjoy it, and it's a good way to have my voice out there. Anyway, the, what I did was about two years ago, I just... I reached out to a guitar store that I worked by and I kind of had gone in there quite a bit and I knew the guy that ran the place. And I just said, hey, you know, what if I just start doing YouTube videos on your gear and you guys don't even have to pay me, I'm just gonna take gear and do it. It's just a way for me to grow. And he was totally down with it and agreed and, and that's been one of the things that's helped me grow is just having product to demo from his store, uh, Main Street Guitars. I really appreciate him doing that for me. And then just me coming up with other ideas. Um, I really had this idea of like a gig vlog where you go out and kind of do behind the scenes of playing shows, things like that. I know other YouTubers have done that in the past. That's one of the things I really enjoyed doing um, is just documenting, going out and playing gigs, things like that. And if you're thinking about doing a YouTube channel, and you want subscribers, don't be a guitar player. <laughs> There's a million of us. Do something different. Do something that's more not so niche -y. This is such a niche market. Um, do like, you know, something that's more uh, appeals to a bigger audience, is what I should say. Like these channels that do really well are these channels that like talk about how to start YouTube. I've seen these channels lately where it just talks about how to start YouTube, and those channels should blow up. Uh, because everyone's trying to start YouTube. Uh, but anyway, you know, if you're going to do this, do like, do your own thing, what makes you happy. But if you want lots of subscribers, don't do such a niche thing as gear and music. Plus, it's so saturated. Um, if you do do something niche, make sure it's a broad appeal to a lot of people, not just musicians, because the percentage of musicians, I mean, there's a lot more of us these days, but the percentage compared to what there were just a few years ago, uh, not that many. Anyway, you guys, I just wanted to talk about my journey. I've tried to be consistent about uploading and I've tried to be positive. I don't, I'm not, I try to be not negative about stuff. And I'm not uh, someone that reviews a really expensive piece of gear and that's all I want to do is review the good stuff. I like reviewing stuff that's affordable to people too, because that's me. I'm not, I can't afford a lot of the stuff I review. Honestly, I can't afford a, a brand new Gibson some of the Fender stuff that I review. Uh, I'm lucky to just buy something really nice every couple of years that I really want, and even then it's not a huge expense. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. If you are wanting to start a YouTube channel, um, it's just a lot of work, and you have to make it. The biggest thing that I've seen about starting a YouTube channel is making it a habit of just going up and working and getting the videos made 
and doing the editing and just it's something you do every week and you can't rest on your laurels. I mean, look at me, I, I release you know, quite a few videos, but I'm only at 6,000. Um, does, does guitar, does your ability as a guitar player affect how many subscribers you get? Probably. Uh, if you're a better guitar player, you're probably gonna get better subscribers. But that's not always true. I've seen some guys that have huge channels that they're not the best players, but they just work really hard and either they're funny or you know they've got something going on that people really like. So anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. I'm Rich Bischoff. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we will see you at the next video. Adios. Thank you.